The son of perdition is being revealed by mighty God Ahia, who is Sabrina Dowry, which is a transgender who is Satan in a dress. The son of perdition, that man of sin, the son of perdition being revealed. We're getting to several chapters of the King James Version Bible and the book, the forgotten books of Eden that goes over the identity of Satan in these latter days. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verses two through five says that you be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the days of Messiah Yeshua, who some call Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposed it and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you this? And I am Manette Davis Jackson, some call King David. And yes, I do remember when mighty God Ahia showed me these things. We were in the spirit and we saw Satan transforming uh, many of his gargoyles into beautiful women. And we saw Satan transform Ahia and I. I was with Ahia with this. So now we're going to get into um, the Forgotten Books of Eden that goes over several um chapters of the apparitions, the tricks of Satan, transforming himself to seduce and beguile Adam and Eve and uh, because he hates mighty God Ahia. Satan is transforming to a woman and the different apparitions of Satan. Satan, a.k.a. Satrina, a.k.a. Sabrina, Diary, Diary. When we were, I'm going to pause a minute, when we were up in heaven, Satan was a snake and he could transform into an angel and a snake. And I was Ahia's wife at the time. And he, Satan was very jealous of me. And I kept a diary of all the times that I spent with mighty God Ahia. And he read it. And Satan made a diary himself saying how he wanted to have sex and do all these weird things with mighty God Ahia, which is his father. And that's when mighty God Ahia found iniquity, sin in Satan. And cast him down, which he is now down here in the pit of hell with the rest of us. This is the resurrection. Satan transformed himself many times in the forgotten books of Eden. One, a beautiful black woman, which is Sabrina Dowry, which is the last apparition. He's currently married to Idris Elba, that fake marriage. Idris Elba is Adam resurrected, who's also the Messiah that came back for us. Number two, an angel of light. Satan transformed himself as an angel of light. Three, a beguiled in light. Chapter 27 in the Forgotten Books of Eden. Satan transformed his hosts like angels, singing praises like Christians outside the cave of treasures. So many of the Christians that worship white Jesus, that white Jesus is Satan, is Lucifer they worship in. And mighty God Ahia revealed his name to all these people, but they rejected mighty God Ahia. So all these people that still worship white Jesus, they're not going to make it. They're going back up in the sun in the lake of sulfur fire and brimstone. Number four, a serpent snake. Number five, an old man, a relative in chapter 60 of the forgotten books of Eden. Satan also transformed himself as beautiful maidens, women in chapter 72 of the forgotten books of Eden. They had come up out of the river. I remember that. And number seven, he transformed himself as the image of mighty God Ahia. And he was bound up and he looked exactly like Ahia glowing. And I didn't know that was Satan and I let him loose. And he, his identity came back and he was about to kill me when Ahia quickening spirit came and rushed and bound him quickly. So we're going to go over the forgotten books of Eden started with uh, book two, chapter three to 15. Satan appears as a beautiful woman, Sabrina Dowry, tempting Adam, telling him he is still a youth. Spend thy youth in mirth and pleasure, the different forms which Satan takes. Chapter 4. Then Satan, the hater of all good, when he saw Adam, thus alone fasting and praying, appeared unto him in the form of a beautiful woman, who came and stood before him in the night. Then El Elohi Ahia, I am that I am, sent his word, Yeshia, the Messiah, and to Adam, saying, O Adam, that figure is the one that promised thee the Godhead and majesty. 
He is not favorably disposed towards thee, but shows himself to thee at one time in the form of a woman, another moment in the likeness of an angel, on another occasion in the similitude of a serpent, and another time in the resemblance of me, El Elohi Ahiah. But he does all that this only to destroy thy soul. Ezekiel 28 verses 14 and 15. Thou art the anointed cherub that covered, and I, Ahiah, have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of Ahiah, mighty God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou wast perfect in all thy ways from the day that thou wast created, till iniquity, sin, was found in thee. That's when Ahiah found the diary, and Satan wrote all those sexual and moral things that he wanted to do to mighty God Ahiah, his creator. So we're going to get in chapter 18, the different apparitions of Satan that he takes. The mortal combat with the serpent. When the accursed serpent saw Adam and Eve, it swelled its head, stood up on its tail, and with eyes blood red, acted like it would kill them. O oh, Adam, because of you and of Eve, I am slippery and go on my belly. Then with its great strength, it threw down Adam and Eve and squeezed them and tried to kill them. But El Elohi Ahiah, I am that I am, sent an angel who threw the serpent away from them and raised them up. Then the word of, excuse my puppies, then the word of El Elohi Ahiah came to the serpent and said to it, The first time I made you slick and made you to go on your belly, but I did not deprive you of speech. This time, however, you will be mute and you and your race will speak no more. Excuse my puppies. Chapter 27. Continuing on uh, with chapter 27. Excuse, excuse my puppies. Um, excuse me, I'm lost uh, my place. I'm going back. So the second tempting of Adam and Eve, the devil takes on the form of a beguiling light. When Satan, the hater of all good, saw how they continued in prayer, Adam and Eve, and how El Elohi Ahiah communed with them, Satan made another apparition. He began with transforming his host. In his hands was a flashing fire, and they were in a great light. No sooner had Adam said this than an angel from El Elohi Ahiah appeared to him in the cave, who said to Adam, O oh Adam, fear not, this is Satan and his host. He wishes to deceive you as he deceived you at first. For the first time he was hidden in the serpent, but this time he is come to you in the likeness of an angel of light. Many Christians who worship white Jesus or host of Satan transform as children of light, in order that when you worship him, he might enslave you in the very presence of El Elohi Ahiah. Chapter 29 of the Forgotten Books of Eden El Elohi Ahiah tells Adam of the devil's purpose. But when the merciful El Elohi Ahiah saw that Satan wished to kill Adam with his many tricks and saw that Adam was meek, kind, and without guile, El Elohi Ahiah spoke to Satan in a loud voice and cursed him. Then he and his host fled. Then came the word Yeshia from El Elohi Ahiah to Adam and said to him, Know you and understand concerning this, Satan, that he seeks to deceive you and your descendants after you. Forgotten Books of Eden, Chapter 72. Adam's heart is set on fire. Satan appears as beautiful maidens, women. Adam's Prayer. Meanwhile, the fire of sin came over Adam, and he thought of committing sin. But he restrained himself, fearing that if he followed the, the advice of Satan, El Elohi Ahiah would put him to death. He, Adam, requested Ahiah to inform him about marrying Eve. For Adam said, For I will not do it without his permission, or else he will make us perish, and you and me. For those devils have set my heart on fire with thoughts of what they showed us in their sinful apparitions. Then Adam rose up in prayer and said, if you give us no order respecting this thing of marrying Eve, then sever Eve from me and from her and place us each far away from the other. And Adam ended his prayer. So currently Eve is in the West. I am Eve. I'm in the West. 
And currently Adam, who is Idris Elba, he's in the east over in uh, the Garden of Eden, which is Africa. The Gospel of Bartholomew, chapter 4, 4 through 5. For mighty God Ahia did place Adam in the east and Eve in the west, and appointed the lights that the sun should shine on the earth unto Adam in the east in his fiery chariots, and the moon in the west should give light unto Eve with a countenance like milk. Chapter 24, A Vivid Prophecy of the Life and Death of the Messiah, Yeshia. Then came the word, Yeshia of El Elohi Ahia, to Adam, and said to him, O Adam, as you have shed your blood, so will I shed my own blood when I come flesh of your descendants. And as you died, O Adam, so also will I die. And as you built an altar, so also will I make for you an altar of the earth. And as you offered your blood on it, so also will I offer my blood on an altar on the earth. And as you sued for forgiveness through that blood, so also will I make my blood forgiveness of sins and erase transgressions in it. Chapter 14, the earliest prophecy of the coming of the Messiah, Yeshia, who is mighty God Ahia in flesh, who now is Idris Elba, who is back on the earth. Chapter 4. But I will, when I shall come down from heaven and shall become flesh of your descendants and take on myself the infirmity, sin from which you suffer, then the darkness that covered you in this cave shall cover me in the grave when I am in the flesh of your descendants. Chapter 31, the tokens, gold, incense, and myrrh. After these things, El Elohim said to Adam, You ask me for something from the garden to be comforted therewith. And I have given you these three tokens as a consolation to you, that you trust in me and in my covenant with you. For I will come and save you, and kings shall bring me when in the flesh gold, incense, and myrrh. Gold as a token of my kingdom, incense as a token of my divinity, and myrrh as a token of suffering and of my death. Matthew chapter 2, 10 through 11 says, when they saw the three kings, the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. The Forgotten Books of Eden, chapters and verses that foretold the word, Yeshia of Ahiah, manifesting himself in human flesh to save Adam and Eve and their descendants from Satan, starting with chapter 3, concerning the promise of the great five and a half days, which is 5,500 years. Chapter 1, El Elohim Ahiah said to Adam, I have ordained on this earth days and years, and you and your descendants shall live and walk in them, until the days and years are fulfilled, when I shall send the word, Yeshia, your Messiah, that created you, and against which you have transgressed, the word Yeshia that made you come out of the garden and that raised you when you were fallen. Yes, the word Yeshia, your Messiah, that will again save you when the five and a half days, which are 5,500 years, are fulfilled. Then El Elohi Ahia, I am that I am, in his mercy for Adam, who was made after his own image and likeness, explained to him that these were 5,500 years and how one would then come and save him and his descendants. And Ahiah said to Adam, I told you that at the end of the five and a half days, I will send my word, Yeshia, your Messiah, and save you. Romans 9, 13. As it is written, Jacob, who is Israel, I have loved, but Esau, I have hated. Esau, who is Edom, who is the son of Satan. Malachi 1, 3, and I hated Esau and laid his mountains as his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Second Edris 6, 9, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of one that followed it. So you can follow me on YouTube under the name Submit, S-U-B-M-I-T, the number two and S. And you can listen to the Forgotten Books of Eden under playlist books, the books of Adam and Eve. So a summary, 
Number one, Mighty God of High is a black, black Mighty God. He's a black man, a black warrior, excuse me. Number two, Adam and Eve were also black man and woman. And Africa was named Eden. Number four, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were black. And our forefathers, number five, Ahia foretold of his coming in the forgotten books of Eden as the word manifested and foretold of his death. And number six, gold, incense, and myrrh, which is a witness in Matthew chapter 2, 10, verses 10 and 11. We're closing breaches, hedges, and gaps for Satan and his host thought to change times and laws. So we're getting into John 1, 1. In the beginning was the word which was Yeshia, and the word was with mighty God Ahia, and the word was mighty God Ahia. Again, the word is M Messiah Yeshia, who is mighty God Ahia, the, uh, the all-consuming fire, who is a quickening spirit. He's back on the earth in flesh. The same was with the begin. The same was in the beginning with mighty God Ahia. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. So again, we're... At the, we're in the last days, and Mighty God Ahia is revealing, again, the son of perdition, Satan, who is transforming to a woman. And uh, we're at 666, and now we're coming up on 777 quickly, which is the seven Trump seven vials and the seven seals. Thank you for listening.